In this video, I'll show you how you can sign up and use Proton Mail. I'll cover what Proton Mail is actually about and how you can send encrypted emails with Proton Mail. So we'll jump into the video and we'll get started. So first thing, you want to go to the Proton Mail website. So if you go to Google and you just do a search for Proton Mail, it should be the first one here. It should take you to proton.me. So if you go to proton.me, you then need to click on Mail. That will take you to this page here where we can create a free account. So you can see secure email that protects your privacy. Keep your conversations private. Proton Mail is an encrypted email service based in Switzerland. So we're going to click here where it says create a free account. You can see here they have different plans available, but for most of you, you're going to be using Proton Free, which has up to one gigabyte of total storage. You can get one free email address and send up to 150 messages per day. So let's go for the free plan. So let's click on this button. Now it's going to redirect us to the sign up page where we can now choose our username. Now our username is going to be at the start of our email. We can also choose if we want proton.me or protonmail.com. I like protonmail.com, so I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to try and register here knowledge base at protonmail.com. I'm going to enter in my password here and click create account. Okay, so knowledge base was taken, so we'll run with knowledge base YT. Click create account, and I'm going to have to verify that I'm a human, so we're going to complete this puzzle here. So drag this here, click next, and there you go, we are now verified. Now, maybe you have to verify with your email, maybe not everyone will get that catch per option, and but for me, I had the catch per option, and I could just verify that way. So now we'll choose a display name, I'll choose my display name, and I'll just put here knowledge base we'll click next now you can add a recovery phone number and a recovery email address if you want to if you don't want to link anything to your proton mail though you can just click maybe later but if you now forget your password you're obviously not going to have a recovery method so just bear that in mind but anyway you're now in your new proton mail inbox now you can automatically forward gmail messages to your inbox if you want to go ahead and connect your google email for me though i'm going to skip this and we're going to choose dark mode carbon, click next, and I'm going to get started. So now, we can now create new messages and send encrypted messages. So how do we do that? So first we go to new message in the top left hand corner, and we can then send an email just like we would any other email. So I'll send an email to myself. So I'll send an email to my Gmail account, and I'll call it YouTube email. Now I'm going to write this email and I'll just put hi there. This is a test email. And now we can go ahead and send this like a normal email and it will just act as a normal email. Now what we can also do, if we go down to this encryption icon here, we can click on this and we can encrypt with a password. Now because we're sending messages to a non-proton mail email address, we can encrypt with a password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a password here. I'll just enter one for all of you guys to see. I'll just use the password pasta, then we'll set encryption. Okay, so now we can go ahead and send this email, which should then be sending. So if we go to send, you can see this is the email. So then here is this email in my inbox. You can, you can see here it says, you have received an encrypted email from knowledgebaseyt at protonmail.com. We can then unlock this message, enter in the password here, which is pasta, read message, and there you go, and we can now see this email. And that, in short, is how you would use ProtonMail. So use it like any other email provider, and you can send encrypted messages to ProtonMail accounts and any other emails with a password. 